Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. This is a little bit different timing of a video for me. It's been a little bit too hot and humid for me lately, so it is nighttime. It is still really hot and it's still kind of humid, uh, but it's cooler than it's gonna get tomorrow, so I'm going to try to do this video tonight here. So anyways, hopefully you guys are doing great. We are in the barn with the old beautiful dually. Love this truck. We've got a little bit of a different project in store, and I gotta give credit to brax12 on Instagram. Um, we've on and off chatted just a little bit here and there, but he had a picture posted on social media of a Silverado center console in his truck. And I said, dude, you know, like, does that fit good? Does it fit like the second gen style ones? And he's like, yeah, he's like, it's fine. Except they had to ground down some brackets or something he said on the factory ones to make it fit. So I went and bought a um, Silverado style center console and hopefully it works just fine. I went with the gray leather and the reason for that is the center consoles in the structure are already gray leather so I don't want to hear anybody be like, oh, you know, you, why would you put a leather center console? They're already leather on top. Now the seats aren't, but the tops are and this is a self-contained um, buckle and belt so it's all one piece, you know what I mean? So um, it, it's a swap that should be fairly easy to do. You might have to do some slight modifications to make sure that you can get the um, centerpiece mounted and bolted to the second gen bench um, because you want to make sure it's safe. Obviously, if you do have somebody sitting in there, which, you know, if I was to own this truck much longer, I, I wouldn't, but just in case, you know, somebody down the road does, I don't want, you know, someone's little kid to go flying through the windshield if they're sitting up front, you know, so um, it's just something you want to take into mind just because you're not going to use the safety features. It doesn't mean somebody else might and you could possibly save somebody else some medical bills or even a life down the road. So I'm trying to do it the right way, but we're gonna try to get this taken care of. We're gonna start by trying to pull that one out, like I said, and it's just really, it's just beat up, you know? So that's really the biggest reason to get it done. It's not like, oh, I just want, you know, Silverado one in there. It's mostly because this one's all beat up and it's hard to find these ones anyways in good shape that aren't all, you know, just like this one all ripped up and stuff. So I'm going to do my best to um, get this one ripped out of there. Really, it just needs a new lid, but I figured having some cup holders that um, don't fall out would be nice for the next person. And also, I did schedule the truck earlier today to get the dual disc clutch installed and to fix the air conditioning on the thing, the AC condenser, and uh, get that all working again so you guys can have nice cold AC if somebody decides to pick this truck. And then they will have a center console with you know storage, um, it'll match the rest of the truck anyways with the gray dash and the gray seats and stuff and they'll actually have cup holders. Well, there's the old one out. And I gotta be honest, they do look right about the exact same size in terms of, you know, width. It's hardly much different. That's about it in terms of like depth. They're about the same. A little bit deeper with this one, but not bad. You guys haven't seen me without a hat for a minute, but um, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna fit, so I'm gonna try to set it in there. I remember Braxton saying something about the brackets, the second gen brackets, and let me show you what, what I think he was talking about. I think he was talking about these brackets right here, which I might as well vacuum this out too while I'm in here, but these brackets right here, they might be up in the way. I thought he said something like they ground those out or something. So, I don't know, we'll figure that out. If we need to grind them out, we'll grind them out, but um, we're gonna test fit it and see if it fits anyways in this gap and see if it sits up too high or you know what the deal is with that. But then uh, depending on how it sits, we might just try to find a way to bolt it in with the brackets that are already on the other one. And then if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, we'll make it fit. Braxton screwed his up and he just chopped his second gen brackets off and I think he just threw it in there. Freaking tossed in there, it's not even bolted down, so I wouldn't go sit in that seat. And hopefully this one's gonna turn out a little bit better than his did. Let's get all these things grinded out. I'm probably actually gonna just grind straight down here and then take it out because it rubbed, like just hardly rubbed right here when it was lined up center here. So I'm thinking we're just gonna grind out like a little L shape there. Um, and then we're gonna try to make these brackets work here. So let's get to doing that right now. Some progress. 
so here's what we're going to do. We've got these two bolts right here. I drilled some holes through these flat brackets right here. I got these L-shaped cuts notched out of the brackets here without damaging the buckle assembly on each side. Got about a 90 degree cut. And then I had these holes are already here before I even mess with it today. But drill a hole here and here and then straight above it measured out there and there. Then I drilled out right here, a little offset favoring the inside, a little bit offset favoring the inside there. And if you come into the truck, I'll show you exactly where I'm going to run these bolts through. For the front, I'm going to run the bolts through there with a washer and a lock nut, and a washer and a lock nut there. And then for the back, those second holes that I had drilled a little bit further up, they're actually going to run through right here and they're going to tighten up on there on both sides. And then I got the hardware for all that stuff sitting right there. Some pretty basic stuff but it's gonna sit in there very, very nice. So I'm gonna actually go get my center console and set it in here right now. Well, that's how it sits in there. Um, it does match like the dash color and all that stuff with the leather. I mean, it looks like just a better version of the one that was in it before anyhow. Um, and it's not in the way of your shifting at all because that's second gear right there. You know, and um, it's not in the way, it's fine. Um, so we're just gonna run those bolts in there underneath in those brackets that I showed you bolt it together, get it centered up exactly where I want it, and when we get back, hopefully I can show you the end result. We got her all buttoned up. It wasn't that hard, it only took me about two hours, and it's not that it's, it's not a difficult job to, you know, cut and measure and, you know, make sure all your brackets and everything are squared up. It's just time consuming to thread those things on underneath the seat because, at least when you have giant hands, you can't, I can't put two hands down underneath the seat and, you know, hold the wrench and tighten it up, so I kind of have to try to, set up the wrench on there, try to set it on a nut to where it won't fall off, and then gently take the ratchet, slowly tighten up to where it's not gonna knock the wrench off, and then every time it fell off, redo it. But that's just the only thing that took time was just how tedious it was to tighten down. But otherwise, actually we'll go in on the other side here. Um, it's actually pretty pretty darn nice. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Like I said, I got the idea from Braxton on Instagram, so if you guys wanna follow him, he's actually got a super sick second gen. It's a regular cab, all jacked up on American Force. Yeah, anyways, you can go follow him on Instagram, but this is pretty slick. It's really solid, it's not going anywhere. You've got the storage bin up here. You've actually got cup holders that you can use, and you can actually shift through your gears and everything and not have any kind of problem, you know, nothing's in the way. So, really nice. And it's all usable, you know what I mean? just as much room as there was before. It sits pretty flush with the front of the seats. It goes in a little bit, which isn't a problem because there's no space there anyways. It's not like, if it, literally nobody can even sit here while you're driving with a manual. If this is an auto, you could use it, but with a manual transmission, if there was somebody knee, somebody's knee right there, you seriously couldn't use it anyway. So I'm not really worried about that, but with the armrests and stuff, at least you can use it. It is usable. But yeah, pretty sweet. There's the front bolted down on each side. If you look in the back, see if I can get the, that's a little bit better. You can see right there, just a bracket that goes at an angle right there to hook it up to the, bolted it down to the console, the Silverado console, and then bolt it down to the factory, factory second gen um, bracket that was sitting there. And the same on the other side, just the exact same thing but turned out pretty good. Now the seat is a little bit, I don't know how to put this, um, angled up just a tad, but it might be that's just the style that they were because the top is pretty pretty level like compared to how the other one was, but the seat's a little bit of a different shape. Now it does sit flush along the back, you know what I mean? The back part of the seat is flush, but then it just slowly goes up higher in the front as it goes out. Which I don't know why it's like that. I mean, you can still sit in there comfortably and you can still use your buckle and everything. It's all, you know, you can use all your stuff. What is up guys, it is the very next day. I did get that console put in the dually last night. You guys obviously saw that. By the way, we are running a 12 valve giveaway right now. You could be winning the five speed dually. 
with the new fancy cup holders and center console, you could be winning this red first gen five speed, or you could be winning the nasty red 12 out of Cummins, which you guys will see very soon. All extremely nice trucks. This truck's gonna get the dual disc clutch put in here soon. That truck's gonna get the leveling kit installed, new wheels and tires put on, which all brakes, rotors, I mean, transmission, everything in that truck's perfect. Um, same with the dualies, about to have the transmission, have the dual disc clutch put in, and um, the fifth gear upgrade that the guy said he recommended, a bigger input, and it's going to get the AC fixed on it. And then also for Nasty Red, obviously built transmission, compound turbos. I mean, these trucks are through and through very, very solid vehicles. I wouldn't give away something that I wouldn't be comfortable and happy with owning and driving. So that's why it works. Every $15 gets you another entry to win. And don't forget, we have new stuff on the website on and off. You know, we'll drop some new stuff like this one. This is Truck Junkie, Team l &P right there in a different kind of font. And then we've got one that says, I know my truck. And it's a big fuel gauge on empty because you always have those guys, even my grandma all the time. She's like, I know my Jeep, I know my Jeep. She thought it was the funniest shirt. She's like, I should get one of those that says, I know my Jeep. Cause she always drives on empty. And she's like, I think I got a, about 36 miles left on this tank. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. You know what I mean? But you always know those people. So buy one of those shirts. Maybe buy it for somebody as a gift and get yourself some more entries. But let's show you guys the uh, center console here. By the way, the giveaway ends in like nine or 10 days. I think 10 days and then it's over. So if you guys are trying to enter, don't miss out. But anyway, so here's that. It does match the interior very nice on this truck. I'm thinking about going to see what AutoZone has in terms of seat covers to get new seat covers in on this thing. Um, because this is nice and comfortable and I just drove it out of the barn and put it into reverse, which is as far down as you're going to go. And then second, in nowhere does your wrist feel uncomfortable shifting or, you know, hitting on this thing. Okay, so I just installed a few things on the dually, which might not seem like too big of a deal, but it really up the interior on this truck a lot. At least I think so. Black and gray, you know, black for the bezel, gray for the dash, gray on the steering wheel black again black and gray matches up and then the gray console gray dash gray on the seats and the interior on this truck is um definitely a lot nicer than it was super super excited about that we're gonna go and try to get the red truck sent over to a shop tonight so it's ready to go in the morning and then hopefully tomorrow we can pick back up and show you what we're getting done on the big red lots of cool things and i did also because of that fuel leak that it had i did buy a new gasket kit for the entire ve pump on that truck in case that was not the solution to that um, we have all new o-rings and stuff so we can you know take that ve pump off and you know redo some of the gaskets and just o-rings and stuff in there to keep it from leaking because i don't want it to be leaking on anybody here so anyways, that was a cheap, cheap purchase that's gonna save somebody a lot of just annoyingness, I guess, of a fuel leak. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out the new shirts. We got Truck Junkie. We got the I Know My Truck with a fuel gauge on empty. Um, a, a, a whole bunch of stuff. We got the hoodies that are always just selling out. That's probably been the number one seller, which we've never really ever sold a lot of hoodies, but I think it's because it's getting closer to fall, even though it's still warm. I think people are just really liking the idea of being able to have hoodies. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Only 11 days, no, 10 days left to enter the ultimate 12 valve giveaway and then it will be gone. And I can honestly say that I don't know if we're gonna be doing another 12 valve giveaway for a little while because we've done two back to back. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to enter the 12 valve giveaway. You could be drawn to win a truck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.